Beer Nation asks that you please support our sponsors. Be like this. Hello and welcome to Flying Dog. I am the QA Sensory Director. Okay. On my card it says Quality Assurance Director. Okay. Sensory Goddess. I've had a lot of sensory training. I've had a lot of sensory training, not just in beer, but in food and wine and beverage and packaging. And I'm kind of fanatical about it, you might have guessed. Right. I really, really dig it. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much because those are fantastic. Let's do it. Cheers. Okay. I like to have everybody experience uh, the beer. Okay. And then the food and then okay. the beer and food together because beer and food together changes, it should change. Sometimes people like to just pair stuff and go, oh, that's pretty good, it works. You really want something that you're like, what the, what happened in my mouth? That yeah. was crazy. This is Woody Creek White. Uh, this is actually a Belgian style. All right. Um, it has El Diablo yeast. Okay. The devil. We have a little bit of the devil in this glass. We're going to try the beer, okay. think about what the beer tastes like, and then okay. try it with food. Okay, got it. Okay. Let's do it. This beer is super refreshing. It is really, really refreshing. It's just clean. Now I realize it's my olfactory, olfactory? Olfactory. Olf uh, olfactory, just ol make up words. So go ahead and eat. Mm. Get it to coat your mouth, but before it goes away, take a sip of your beer now. And tell me what happened. Oh, it totally changed. The nice thing about beer and the difference between wine is that beer has carbonation. Yeah. So when you get that fat that's all in your mouth, because it's cheese, it's fat, it's yeah. delicious. So then when you drank that beer, what happened was all the carbonation, so all those little bubbles went like this, and they yeah. went, hello, fat, get off, get off. And then yeah. it combines, and you get this, wait, that's a totally yeah. different flavor than what I had. And then there was like this effervescence feeling and flavor. I'm just trying to throw in these it's, words. It's cool. I, I like took it. the SAT um, 15 years ago. This is the in-heat wheat. So okay. again, unfiltered. Okay. Um, the aromas that you and flavors that you're gonna get from this are banana, which okay. is isoamyl acetate. Oh, just, I love the flavor of isoamyl acetate. Which is banana. Latitate. And then you're also going to get a bit of clove. Okay, let's light I'll it up. I'll do it again, because I love goat cheese. Why not? I get garlic. And this yeah. actually really does, and I'm glad we're talking close now because this will be awesome. Right, very, very different. it also changes the beer because all those yeah. bananas and fruit notes went away. Yeah, gone, and absolutely. Went, I wasn't thinking of that at all. So this, yes. my friend. Right. Because I like to throw this in anywhere, really, is Raging Bitch. Ah. Uh, it doesn't That's appear to be as tempestuous as its name oh, my uh, alludes to. Listen to you and your verbiage. Sharp cheddar, blood orange marmalade, or preserve. What's the difference? Oh, just do it. Mm -hmm. So whenever you run into somebody who goes, I don't like beer, and I'm like, really, that's crazy talk, because that's like saying I don't like food. Right. There's so many different flavors. I mean, you could just look and yeah. see. They're used to the common, just the common mainstream lagers. Sure. And so they go, I don't like that. This, they go, wait, that's totally different. I'm like, yes, it is. Yeah. Finally, through this all this artisan research. products, we've finally replicated the flavor of pizza combos. This is serious research and development, dude. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you so much for joining me. It's my pleasure. Wow. Oh, shit, Gwen. <laughs> This is a lot of food. I did not expect this much. Dude, did you just want to drop an F-bomb? Because that's awesome, I must say. <laughs>